Oh, there's a fish over there. Swimming towards my bait. Come on, eat it. There, oh, he swung at it. Again, think about it like a jig. I mean, I literally just let it sit there. It's kind of like a jig slash drop shot, same deal. Now pop it along just a couple of times. Give it a quick dum dum dum. Let it sit there for a second, then dum dum dum. And the whole time, that bait is effectively in the fish's strike zone. I mean, if there's a fish in the area, you don't have to worry about I'm snagged or I can't get it to them and you can leave a bait sitting there for a long time. So when you come across, you know, that little rock break that you think there's a fish on, you drop that right there and shake it. And there's nothing that's ever gonna move it. I mean, even a drop shot, you, you're shaking a drop shot. In this rock, there's a pretty good chance it's gonna get hung and shut you down. Not with this little floating flatworm. Oh, there's a fish over there. Swimming towards my bait. Come on, eat it. There, oh, he swung at it. He tried to grab it. <laughs> oh, easy. Man, this is one of those simple, easy techniques that is so overlooked because in today's fast-paced world of bass fishing, everybody wants to cover water and do it in a hurry. But sometimes slowing down and getting back to what you got started is exactly what it takes to get them to munch. 